hope you had a happy Thanksgiving and a good Black Friday. Because on Black Friday, I heard a story. There was a Walmart in Upland, California, where I guess the people got too crazy trying to grab the items that were on special. So the police came, and the people were forced to leave the store. And they closed the store for two hours to let the people calm down. Now on Black Friday, I don't like to go to places like that where it's totally crazy. I would avoid Walmart and Best Buy. And I like to go to places that give away freebies, like free gift cards. So we went to Sports Authority, because the first 80 customers get a scratcher. You can scratch off that's worth either 10, 25, or even 100 or 500 dollars. And we, the person I was going with thought we should get there on the early side. So we get there at 4.30, a half hour before they open, and there was only like 10 people there. It wasn't very busy. And when they opened, my person I know got a $10 scratcher, and mine was worth $25. So I thought possibly of getting a putter. So since I'm left-handed, I got this putter. It's like an Odyssey putter. It was originally $50, marked down to $30. But for some reason, the right-handed putters were $10 cheaper, marked down to $20. And when I ringed up the putters, for some reason, these left-handed putters cost $10 more. And the girl working there said, I guess she thought that the left-handed putters cost more because there's less of them in stock in the store. Now, I don't know what are they doing. Are they personally discriminating against left-handed people? I don't know. But with the coupon, I got a $50 putter for $5, so I could care less. Now, we went to Macy's and also J.C. Penney's. But J.C. Penney's, their freebie they'll give you is a collectible Mickey Snow Globe. Now, what's this worth? It might be worth something in 50 years, but now it's probably only worth 50 cents. And if I'm lucky, maybe a dollar. Now, earlier in the week, well, they're still talking about it, about this middle school where kids, ginger kids, were, I guess, attacked for National Kick a Ginger Day. So I'm guessing now people can say that South Park is brainwashing kids because they, there is a, a thing now called National Kick a Ginger Day.